Hi YouTube, Eden Droid here and today's video is dedicated to um, backing up your data and your ROM and everything else because I have been doing a couple of videos on how to flash and install custom ROMs or stock ROMs or whatever and I think most of us don't really know uh, how to back up your data because it's really tiresome to recover all the data that we already had on our mobile phones before um, we did anything with it so let's start with it first of all I'd like to show you a new um, custom ROM that I'm using it's called um, what is it called which ROM oh yeah it is the vanilla ROM this is not the custom uh, launcher that you get with it let me just show you the custom launcher it's actually a Zeme launcher the custom screen that you will get with vanilla is this one this is the custom screen this is the first screen and the app drawer that this launcher has by default is a vertical scrolling app drawer so if you like a vertical scrolling app drawer zeme launcher um, you can use that zeme launcher home replacement app or install this custom rom now how to install this custom rom i'll do um, a video on how to install custom roms and we do install custom roms the same way actually uh, so I'll install some other custom ROM, I think uh, Cyanogen mod, maybe I'll try that and show it to you guys. Right now I'm using uh, Vanilla ROM and one thing only first, one thing that I would like to mention. Um, there's only one question or the first question maybe that we ask whenever we are trying new ROMs. And the question is, first of all let me go to my idea. And the question is, how is the battery in it? yep so right now if you can see the battery is 35 percent right here it is says 35 percent and well it's cool it's 35 percent i i installed this rom at 8 30 uh, a.m in the morning to be precise it is 7 37 p.m right now and i still have 35 percent and i have had my wi-fi on for about 90% no exaggeration 90% of the time I had my Wi-Fi on so I really like the battery life on it but my point uh, to try new ROMs and or to avoid new ROMs is only one thing that I want to have an external uh, partition and, and uh, an easy GUI for that actually this ROM comes with uh, apps a to SD GUI. This is a dark tremors version. But my problem is that I don't really understand um, how to operate this application. I mean, I do understand it, but I cannot actually see that it is working. Uh, what I can see, however, is that I recovered or restored all of my data from my SD card using the method I'm going to show today, and still I have so much left. Let me show you. I have so much, so much left. I have around 114 MB left, which is quite cool. If I'm going to install like 10 more applications, I'll still have at least 50 MB left. So that is cool. And that made me stick to it. Also, um, Galaxy Mini has 180 MB storage overall. So when I installed this ROM on it, I had 178 MB for me to occupy. So that is really awesome. That made me love this yeah okay that is about it oh yeah one more thing one thing that we are all dying for is this nice i know this is the awesome crt effect um you will get that in cyanogen as well but yeah this one has it too anyway so i'm going to show you an application that requires you to root and which is a very famous application actually this is called titanium backup i'm gonna start it it requires you to root so um, please be rooted and this is how it looks like the overview backup schedules and all that when I go to backup if you can see I'm running really low on my battery so this is actually a test run that I'm doing right now and I'm just doing it right with you guys so I have my backup and restore how do I do that I press the menu key I go to batch and it is actually calculating and assembling also see this is the window you're gonna get uh, by the way a titanium backup is available for free in the market it has also a pro version uh, which if you want to buy you can buy that but it has a free version I'm using the free version and 
it has worked for me so yeah okay now when I go to backup I have different options backup all user data all system data or both of them and all that let's just do both of them run and you know there are like all the applications are listed here you can select deselect if you want or whatever and I'll just do a run batch and it is backing up it is as simple as that seriously and it'll take a while I'm not gonna put my phone on recharge I'm gonna be back when it's 100% and let's see how is my battery doing till then all right be right back Oh, we are almost done we are at 98 percent it is backing up my youtube and the default game launcher and it done we are we have backed up the data see it even says in the notification bar titanium backup batch backup finished great now how to restore it now let's see how to restore it we press the menu button and it shows you the batch thing so I'm gonna click it and we do it this way and then we're gonna check the battery yeah okay so we are right here uh, this was the backup screen that we saw okay we can slide down see we have the restore thing right here and restore all system data or restore missing apps plus system this is actually this has actually like all data that I have on my SD card it restores uh, right from here you just have to click it and do it since I just backed it up I'm not restoring it there's no point that I will restore it right now I will however show you something where are the backup files which is really important uh, because when you're messing up with your SD make sure you make a copy of those backup files you save those copy on your computer as well so I'm gonna show you um, where is my file manager? Oh, Zim Launcher comes with uh, a different file. Zim Launcher comes with this application, File Expert as its file manager. That's what I'm going to do. It's loading. Yeah, it's done. Okay, so I'm going to go to the SD card, uh, which is where? Oh, I'm already on the SD card. Sorry, you can, you can see right here. It said mount SD card. So there is a folder in the SD card called titanium backup. And if I click it, this is like all of my backup files right here. So make sure you and view the SD card from your system and copy this folder um, on your system just to be on very, very, very safe side. Um, in case you lose any data, you should have the backup right here now having said that uh, let's see the battery okay it is 32 percent which is quite good um, but the problem here is I am on airplane mode so uh, most of my network things are not working at all so but still it's good now in this video I also said in the beginning I am going to show you how to back up your ROMs right well the thing is the sad news actually we cannot back up the stock ROM that came with our Galaxy Mini however after that whichever ROM we install any stock ROM or whatever ROM if it's not for you we can always back it up now how do we do that I need to shut my um, phone down for that first of all look at this isn't this pretty cool this is like the power um, phone shutdown options you get these cool options you can reboot into recovery or you know I don't know download I don't know what download does but I'm gonna reboot into recovery and I'm going to go into recovery there I go it is going to go into recovery so yeah be patient with me dude go into recovery already yes okay now it's going to start now and it just did uh, so we are in clockwork 
more recovery i have explained that how to install it in my previous videos please go through them uh, this can only be installed in gingerbread i'm repeating it so don't try flashing it um, on your um, throw because it won't work and in fact your system will be stuck on the boot load so you would need to flash it anywhere okay having said that when i go to my we have this option right here backup and restore right so when i go to backup and restore i just back up just this just this it is backing it up it is backing up my boot image my recovery image my system and everything it actually backs this up on your sd card isn't that cool it will back up my custom rom that i'm using right now in its custom state and i presume with all the applications that i have on it that would be actually cool man i haven't tried this myself this is the first time i'm uh, backing it up actually <laughs> knew this will take that much time but all in all i'm just um, going to sum up my experience with uh, this new custom rom i really like it and the reason i'm still using it is it has this option of uh, apps to sd uh, not to fat uh, partition but actually to ext2 or ext3 or ext4 partition for that matter and i really like that feature even though i cannot modify it from the gui or from some other interface that i can really interact with because else i have to um, do some programming and all and i am so not in the mood to dig all the lines for that so that actually made me love linked to sd it was pretty easy and user friendly um linked to sd is not working on this uh, the developer has given a line a command um to use it on this rom how i have tried it however i am not able to do anything about it so i think no we cannot use it tada okay backup complete nice awesome now what i'm going to do i'm going to go to back just click this button you go to back why am i not going to back why am i not? oh i'm actually in the main screen I just need to reboot my system now. Now, if I would need to restore, I just simply restore it, and it gives me the option. It is today's date, and it is giving me the option to just, you know, if I click it uh, with my home key, I'm going to restore it. I'm not doing that, and I'm restarting. So yes, that was about it. I think. Oh, yeah, but check the cool intro animation. You would love it. I loved it. <laughs> By the way, other ROMs have different animations. I've tried them, and even they are cool. I personally like the mini mods animation. It is it is so freaking awesome. But I like this one as well. Oops! Ah, no! Don't look at it. No, don't look at it. This is just a custom animation I have um, installed on it. I need to remove it. <laughs> this is not the actual animation. But guys, install it if you want to see uh, and feel uh, how it looks like and everything all by yourself. This is actually the custom lock screen that you get with it. The first time the developer uploaded it, it had a, it had some differences. It had a different icons on the status bar. It had different um, lock screen and all. But I like this one as well. That wasn't as fast as this one this is better this is definitely better and my battery is almost dead let's see how much i have left i have 20 percent left which is good i just used a you know i just tormented it recovering and all that so for recovering your file and for backing up or for flashing whatever make sure you have 80 percent or more um or what yeah battery life <laughs> That was it for today. Thank you for watching and please post, comment and subscribe. Bye.